Welcome everybody into this new video to express. Today I'm going to be showing you something truly awesome. How to add an animated background to Shopify Store in 2024. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can all hack your Shopify store and use that Shopify to get started with your actual online store. Today what I'm going to be doing here is to add a custom background to all my sections of the background of my website. So as you should see in here we have a black background. So what I want to be doing here is to add an actual pattern here. So what you wanted to do first of all is to look out for the actual pattern you wanted to add into your website. What I did here is to look out for a gamer pattern background animated uh, as a GIF. Now GIF, G-I-F, is an actual animation that is currently animated with an actual loop. So that means that this one actually it's more, no more than maybe four seconds or maybe less. And it's going to be repeated um, endlessly. So that's the reason why it's called a GIF. Really, really important to choose an actual GIF, uh, GIF image. Now that I have the actual image, I'm going to leave this like that. And I'm going to now go back into my Shopify store. So now that we have access to our Shopify store, what you want to do is to go directly into the editor, which is going inside online store and directly into themes. Inside themes, let's locate this three dots. So in this case, I go for edit code. Now, I know what you might be saying, guys, you don't have to be worrying about anything of coding because I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can use this code and you don't have to do anything but just paste the code into your coding of your website. So once you click down below into this link, it's going to be showing you this website of pastebent.com. This code is going to be helping us to change the background color of the GIF URL that we're going to be generating today. So what you wanted to do is to copy this code and go back into your store. Now that we are in here, uh, into the left part, you might see that we have a lot of folders. So let's just try to unzip all of this and focus only inside assets. Inside assets, look out for base.cws. I click on it and now what I want to do is to go all my way down and clicked enter and here I paste the code that it was generated for us. Lastly, what you wanted to do is to paste the GIF URL that appears here which says GIF URL. So what you want to do is to go back to locate the actual image of your URL which is actually this one. I go for the right clicked and I go for copy image address. I clicked here I go back into my coding website and here I select the GIF URL text and I paste this new code. So as you can see here, important changed uh, image as you liked. And then what I wanted to do is to go for save and there we go. So now what I want to do is to go back into my store, reload the page and see if the background color has been changed now. Lastly, there's a lot of people that actually say that they're having trouble to see their actual element because they have the actual schemed colors and they don't see the actual background. But you have to worry about that. Actually, we found an actual section from Shopify community that actually have an actual coding and doing exactly the same process. Go directly into online store, theme, edit code, the base, CSS as we did before. But what you want to do is to choose this actual section Another solution that I can give you guys is to go directly inside your customized section, go here into theme settings, go into your colors and create a new scheme where instead of choosing a background color, just click on it and delete the actual element. So there's no actual background color as you should see here it is. So what I just needed to do is to change my text color, my solid button background, my solid button label and the outline button and so on and on and on. Lastly, what I just needed to do is to go directly into the elements that I do want to change. Let's say for example, this gear collection. I choose the element that I want to change and instead of going for the scheme number one, I change this for the scheme 11, which in this case has no background color. And now it's gonna be showing me the background color that we actually chose. And there you have it. A really easy way guys to create an actual animated background. So guys, uh, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Remember, you have the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free with Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to this new brand of videos of TechPress. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.